the many joys of retro repair and here today we have a pretty simple one uh, we've taken apart a master system controller because uh, one of the buttons button 2 as they call it was very unresponsive now you may say use button 1 okay that's that's a pretty good idea but you know I thought I'd take it apart and have a look sure enough there's a fair bit of gunk on that metal contact there so what we're going to do is we are going to just give it a quick clean just thought I'd show you how to do it so down here in the land down under we use or can use methylated spirits don't use this stuff if you're in the states because it is a very different compound mixture apparently uh, what's this one got flammable liquid safety do not why would I drink it there we go under the one liter 96% ethanol so for us that's fine uh, I think in the States the methylated spirits is a different color as well and it's got some uh, uh, methanol perhaps that is very bad for doing things like this so don't use that uh, if you're in the States use uh, isopropyl which is another thing you can use probably should use isopropyl but methylated spirits is like four dollars a bottle so why not so it's pretty simple all you do you get a big packet of swispers Look at that jumbo pack. This is, this is cheap. This is good. You can also use them for your ears if you get uh, any earwax that is giving you trouble. I tend to use it more for cleaning consoles. I need a camera stand. Lucky for me, I had a camera stand. Thinking of getting a new camera too. I, uh, what am I using now? A Canon. 600D, probably thinking of getting a 700D or waiting for the 750Ds to come out uh, with an autofocus uh, video camera lens so there'll be no more of me doing well this it will all be automatic by the computer I mean the computer in the thing so anyway back to the task at hand as you can see I don't know what that is is that ink Oh, washing machine's finished. It's pretty black. Maybe they spilt a Canon bubble jet black ink cartridge in their number two button. Doesn't matter, that's coming off pretty well. And I do actually have a master system now. I originally had this controller just for the uh, a more authentic feel when playing Master System games through the old Mega Drive. But I did end up picking up a Master System. I do. I did some video of it. I don't know if I've uploaded it yet. And I'm pretty sure I haven't. So I'd remember editing that much video. One thing you should be aware of, if, if, if you do use uh, methylated spirits, it can leave a sort of a white film on top. It's pretty harmless. You just wipe it off with uh, another cotton dip. And that's how you do it. While you're in there, of course, go over all the little pads and a little bit of methylated spirits on the dip. Just give them all a bit of a clean. You know what they say, a clean pad is a dirty mind wait oh I already did that one as you can see the d-pad isn't too bad but just give it a bit of a scrub anyway <sighs> looks pretty good to me Now, of course, if your pads are all lifting and destroyed, that's probably not a good thing. And there's not going to be too much you can do about that. But these controllers are surprisingly simple. Something got, it doesn't even have a controller chip. Like the uh, Mega Drive ones do. Simple wire link and... A bunch of wires everywhere. Uh, now you can also have a look at the um, the contacts on this. Like you're probably wondering, gee, where did all that black come from? Your answer's probably on one of these. 
So you can, if you're very careful, because if you use sort of methylated spirits or isopropyl on these, it can sort of eat away at the actual um, conductive. Oof. So that would have auto-focused if I had my new camera. I don't exactly have a $1,000... $1,000 spare at the moment for a new camera, so I'll just have to hold off. Still, I can dream about it. Yeah, don't use the isopropyl or methylated spirits too hard on these because it will eat away at them and then it won't, when you press the button, it'll do nothing. Which is uh, not what you want. You know what? I'll have a go here. And the worst case is that you'll completely stuff it. You know, that's fine. It's your controller pad, not mine. This one's mine. Try and clean up any other dirt in the area. Looks pretty good. Get your A and B button. No, sorry. What are they? One and two. Start and two. <laughs> Where did A and B even come from? Man, that washing machine <sighs> wants me to go there. And this this is a good little um, idea because you can actually do this on well, practically all sort of 16-bit era, 8-bit, even earlier, I suppose, Atari and whatnot. The most modern controller I've taken apart is a PlayStation 3 controller and let me tell you that thing's annoying worst controller to take apart so far though it's not too bad I mean you got you got to desolder the um, rumble feature on the PlayStation 3s to completely disassemble it but who was the one where I had oh I think Saturn model 1 controllers the uh, triggers Absolute pain. Yeah, they don't like sitting in properly. And of course, dust out any... Dust. And what I tend to do on the... Uh, Oh God. It can take a while if you're, uh, you know, if you're cautious enough. If you have a look on the inside there, while oh, you're in here, bit of grime, some filthy '80s kid, possibly a '90s kid, and same around the buttons. So you can just use a bit of spray and wipe on a cloth. Five in one multi-purpose, apparently. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs, cuts grease, lifts stains, lasting shine, and a fresh fragrance. I'm not kidding. That's what it says on the bottle. Fresh fragrance. That is a feature. That is one of the fives. <sighs> I must admit it is pretty good. Okay, well, I'm going to do that, and uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a comment. I always read them. Don't always have time to reply. You know what? Let's throw in a test of the, the controller. Oh, fixed up. Uh, what are we running here? We are running Mega Drive 2, uh, which has been modded for uh, 60 hertz and Japanese English language switch. I've got a Master System Converter 2 there with the uh, spacer. And Wonder Boy, which is a fantastic game. I mean, doesn't that just say it all? The mega cartridge. So let's uh, let's have a go. Don't know what mode we're gonna be in. Huh. Uh, super super wonder boy. I'm guessing we're in Japanese mode. Let's just give it a quick restart so we can see that uh, interesting logo that popped up. Yeah, 
Well, they definitely said Sega Mark III. Oh well. Um, look at that controller. It's perfect. Let's do this. Oh, here's the difference between 60 and 50 hertz. So you can probably hear that. You know what? For those who have hearing impairments, there it is a bit louder. I can't remember which switch is which. I'm going to say that was language. I should just say Wonder Boy now. Yeah. But I want to play the Japanese version. Hey. So I'm guessing the other one is 6050. What are we in now? I have no idea. I really need to get that washing. Okay. We were definitely in 50. Keep my vitality up. <gasps> this game is dangerous. Oh no. Why is there a wasp? I've never seen a wasp before. Let's try that again. It sounds like my neighbour above me is starting to have a shower. Fantastic, just so I need It's too bad he's not some... Are you kidding me? Oh, to continue? I'm going to continue. Save my green haired babe. You'd think this being the only Master System game I have, I'd be okay at it by now. That was a wasp. There's another wasp. Never seen wasps. <gasps> skateboard, skateboard, yeah. yeah. More vitality. Oh, wasps can get your skateboard. Why are there so many of them? Let's slow it down to 50 hertz. Oh! The banana. What was that? What's happening? What is this? What? What is going on? Four? Oh, wicked. Oh, yeah. 50 hertz mode rocks. <gasps> Need to get the door. I've never seen a frog either. revisit that first um, first bit again just to see if the wasps appear. Oh, it's running so slow. Let's jump over that. Whoops. out of vitality anyway. Come on, let's go. I'm not seeing any wasps.
come Japan gets wasps? Actually, what am I saying? I'm doing much better at this without wasps. Oh! Oh! Vitality! Oh lord, oh lord. I remember when I didn't know how to jump really high. I couldn't get past those boulders for so long. Take that fire, rock, glitching graphics. I'm still invincible! Oh god, no I'm not. You saw it here first on uh, RetroJunkie.net. Yep. Oh hell yeah. Clickety click. Switching back to Japanese now. Let's see if I can do something else that works on the No! What is that? Can't handle its speed, it's going too fast. Rubbish. Uh, th thank you for watching. That's um, just a demonstration of what I just showed you. So we thank you Mega Drive 2, Master System Converter 2, and Wonder Boy. And you, the viewer. Subscribe. <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than upbeat, hippie sounding music, but you guys said you wanted to hear more of it, so you're gonna have to hate it with me. Let's direct some hate at this awful song. No!